Hi everyone, welcome back. The other day I was going through Instagram and I purchased something super super unnecessary. Um, I probably don't need this at all, but I got it because I'm really really lazy. Let me show you. I bought the electric spinning spinning brush cleaner. This has been everywhere on Instagram and I'm the type of person who will get something if I constantly see it on Instagram. And I've been seeing this on Instagram for like months and and I just gave in. Because every time I put on makeup and I see my dirty brushes, I always think about this product and I always think about how much easier it would be if I just purchased one. So so this is the perfect makeup brush cleaner and dryer from Eureka. I bought the actual device and it came with a cleanser. So let's just see what's inside. I already like opened it and tried it just to see if it works. Because if it doesn't work, um, I'm going to return it. And I got it last night. So just wanted to double check it if it works and it does work. Comes in like this. Here's the device that spins. Here's all the attachments. If I could get them out. I've also got more attachments here. And then this is the container where you put the solution and water it. So let's just start because I my brushes are so dirty and I just need to get them clean. I'm gonna try my dirtiest brush right now, which is my powder brush. It's the travel size one, but I love this brush. This is the Sephora number 55. I really love this brush. I wish I got it. Um, the full size one, but I got it in a mini size. Okay, so here is the cleanser. I don't know if you have to specifically only use this cleanser or if you could just use other cleanser. Comes with the measuring cup. Okay, I'm gonna measure 30 millimeters. They say warm water, but I don't have warm water. So we'll just use water, room temperature water. So here's my water, and then I'm gonna put in the solution. So here it is, the solution and the water. Now I'm gonna find the attachment for this. There we go, it's in. Oh my god, I'm so excited. In here, like that. I'm gonna put the guard on. Go! So I just dip it in like this, and then I'm gonna press the button. Whoa! It's not spinning as fast as I thought it would. Oh, it's it looks clean. I don't know if you guys could see it, but it looks... Oh, I didn't show you how dirty it was. Damn it. Okay, just believe me when I say it was nasty. This brush is very nasty. I haven't washed... I haven't washed my brushes in, in like over six months. So trust me when I say they're nasty. Like, I mean, look at the water. So the device was spinning really slow because I attached the attachment really in. And so it was spinning slow. So I kind of took it out and kind of loosened it a bit and then now it's spinning fast oh there we go that's what i wanted did you look at that that's what i wanted yes okay now i'm gonna take it out it's supposed to dry it okay it's not fully dried but it's dry it looks pretty clean wow and it's so soft and it smells so nice it smells very fresh has a nice citrus scent to it. Ooh, okay. Let's try a different brush. I think you're supposed to throw this out, but I'm just gonna use it once more because I kind of feel like it's a waste. Um, I know some some of you guys think it's nasty, but like, I think I could use one more. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush. This is my blush brush. It is pretty dirty. Okay, let's try it. But yeah, make sure it's not all the way in. Leave a little bit of gap. Oh, this is not good. What is happening? I thought this would be the right attachment. What is going on? Oh. So this was not the right attachment. Um, clearly. Did it clean it? Yeah, it's still it's still very clean. There you go. Okay. Um, there's this brush that I really want to try. It's a flat foundation brush. Really, really beat up. 
Um, I'm gonna see if it can clean this. I need to find the right attachment. Please, there be a right attachment for this. I really wanna try this one. Okay, yeah, see, that's like the downside of this is that there isn't a right attachment. Like, they're either too big or too small. Kind of squeezed one in the 14 millimeter one. I'm gonna get 30 millimeter of solution. I feel like 30 millimeter is good enough. So here's the solution. I'll put it in here. Give it a nice swirl. Mix it around. Let's see if it can clean this. All right, I'm gonna first just kind of dunk it in there, soak it in. Oh, already the water is getting dirty. The spin isn't consistent. Like it works with some brushes and it doesn't work with other brushes. Um, not working. I don't think it works with flat brushes. Okay. So this does not work with flat brushes and it did not do a very good job cleaning it. So I will manually clean that brush later. Okay, I'm just gonna try <clears throat> a fluffy powder brush. Not that dirty, but I have used it. So let's see how this is. Very nice, very clean. Ugh. Let's try an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna try this one. This is the brush that I use the most. And let's see how well it works with um, eyeshadow brush. Here we go. Oh my God, I feel like it's gonna fly out. There we go. It's working pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Okay. My brush looks really beat up. Oh my god, what happened to my brush? Okay, it looks like a wet cat right now. Um, it didn't really fully dry it. I don't think it even fully cleaned it as well. I mean, it looks cleaner than before, but it just looks really beat up now. All right, let's try a, a blending brush. I'm gonna try this blending brush. I also use this brush a lot. Since it's not that dirty, I'm just gonna use the same solution. Again! Look what it did! Okay, okay, never mind. Okay, you just need to shape, reshape it. Okay. Oh, this one looks a lot better. Ooh, this one's nice. This one, this one's good. Okay, so I guess it works with some brushes and not other brushes. So I'm gonna finish cleaning the rest of my brushes and then I will tell you what I think about the product. So I just finished cleaning all my brushes and this is what I think about the product. First is that it is so hard to find the correct attachment. Even though it comes with all these attachments, it is very hard to find the correct one. Um, I'm especially confused by this one. This is a 30 millimeter. I have never seen a makeup brush with this big of a handle. Um, second of all, it uses a lot of cleanser. So this is 400 millimeter of cleanser and already I've used this much and I don't even have that many brushes. Like this is all that I have. So imagine if you have a ton of brushes. Like you probably finished the whole bottle. So I thought that was a bit wasteful. I think I probably wouldn't use that much next time. Third thing about this product is that it doesn't work for all brushes, especially like the flat foundation brush because it was flat and kind of dense it was really difficult for the brush to kind of move around so it doesn't work with all brushes lastly it was difficult to control the device or control the spin sometimes you'll go really really slow sometimes you'll go really really fast sometimes it will just fly everywhere so it was very unpredictable what's gonna happen so i didn't like that i couldn't have much control of it now let's move on to the things i like about this product first it's so quick it is very very quick usually to wash this many brushes it would take me about an hour but with this it was very quick if i wasn't filming i'd probably be able to clean all my brushes in under like 15 minutes so i really like that it was quick also because it's quick i think it might be great for makeup artists who needs to quickly deep clean their brushes and lastly i like that it used less water when i wash my brushes i always have the faucet on and the water just keeps running however with this product i could control the amount of water that i use um i probably use less than a liter of water to clean all my brushes i feel so guilty when i have to wash my brushes because i use so much water but with this product um 
I like that I didn't have to worry about that. So the real question is, would I recommend it? It is definitely a lot easier to use. So yeah, if you're lazy and you hate cleaning your brushes, I highly recommend you give this a try. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe as I make a lot of beauty related content and I'm kind of starting to create more lifestyle content here in Korea. It's summertime, so I'm going to be outside more often and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!